In the shadows of the old line state, where history whispers through the pines, there lies a realm where the past is not at rest. Welcome, brave souls and curious hearts, to a journey through the veiled tales of Maryland's most haunted. Tonight, we peel back the curtain of the mundane, venturing into the domain of phantoms and fables. We traverse a land etched with the footprints of specters, where each creaking floorboard and rustling leaf tells a story, a story of loss, of longing, and of the eternal echoes of time. So, join us, if you dare, as we embark on this spectral sojourn. Keep your wits about you and your camera at the ready, for in Maryland's haunted havens, the next tale could be yours. Number 5. Point Lookout Lighthouse, Scotland, Maryland. At number 5, we have the Point Lookout Lighthouse. This beacon of the past served as a Civil War hospital and POW camp. Visitors report chilling encounters with apparitions in Civil War attire and unexplained drops in temperature. Are these the restless souls of soldiers still on duty? Perched at the confluence of the Potomac River and the Chesapeake Bay, the Point Lookout Lighthouse in Maryland is a historic sentinel with a legacy that transcends its maritime duties. Built in 1830 by John Donahue, this lighthouse has been a witness to both the mundane and the macabre, its light a constant through the ebb and flow of time. The lighthouse's early years were relatively peaceful, serving the noble purpose of guiding vessels safely through treacherous waters. However, as the Civil War erupted, Point Lookout's strategic location made it an epicenter of conflict and human suffering. The lighthouse found itself adjacent to what would become the largest Union prison camp for Confederate soldiers, with over 50,000 men passing through its gates. The conditions at the camp were dire, with overcrowding, disease, and exposure claiming the lives of more than 3,000 prisoners. The lighthouse, once a symbol of safety, became an ominous marker for the threshold between life and death. It is within this backdrop of despair that the lighthouse began to forge its reputation as one of the most haunted places in Maryland. As the war ended in years past, the lighthouse resumed its role as a coastal beacon. Yet, those who lived and worked there reported strange occurrences, footsteps in empty halls, whispers carried on the wind, and the inexplicable scent of tobacco and campfires. Some even claimed to see the ghostly figures of soldiers, still clad in their tattered uniforms, wandering the grounds as if lost in time. The lighthouse changed hands over the years, with various keepers tending to its flame. Each keeper brought their own stories, adding layers to the tapestry of legends that enveloped the structure. The most enduring spirit is said to be that of Ann Davis, the first keeper's daughter, who took over the duties after her father's untimely death. Her presence is often felt in the form of a comforting warmth or a gentle touch, a stark contrast to the more forlorn spirits of the soldiers. In 1965, the lighthouse was decommissioned, its purpose served by more modern navigational aids. However, the cessation of its official duties did not diminish the allure of its haunted past. Paranormal investigators and curious visitors alike are drawn to Point Lookout, eager to experience its otherworldly residents. The lighthouse stands today as a historical site, its walls holding the memories of centuries. The stories of its hauntings are as much a part of its heritage as its architectural features. Whether one believes in the supernatural or not, the lighthouse invites all to ponder the mysteries of the past and the thin veil that separates the living from the dead. As we explore the depths of Point Lookout Lighthouse's history, we find a narrative rich with human emotion, from the keeper's steadfast diligence to the prisoner's harrowing despair. It is a place where history is palpable, where every creak and groan of its time-worn structure seems to tell a story. For those who visit, whether by day or by the ghostly moonlight, the lighthouse offers a journey through time. It is a monument to the resilience of the human spirit and a testament to the enduring fascination with the unknown. The Point Lookout Lighthouse, with its storied past and spectral inhabitants, remains a beacon not just for ships, but for souls seeking the light of understanding in the darkness of history. Number 4. Fletcher Town Road, Bowie, Maryland. Number 4 takes us down the dark, winding Fletcher Town Road. Legend has it that the goat man, a creature both man and beast, lurks among the trees. Whether a tale to keep children away or something more sinister, this road is not for the faint of heart. In the shadowy stretches of Bowie, Maryland, Fletcher Town Road weaves its way through dense woods and rural landscapes. It is here, amidst the whispering trees and the quiet hum of nature, that a legend has taken root, a legend as unsettling as it is enduring. This is the domain of the goat man, a creature said to be part man, part goat, and entirely enigmatic. The legend of the goat man is a patchwork of stories passed down through generations. Some say he was once a scientist working at the nearby Beltsville Agricultural Research Center, who, after a grotesque experiment gone awry, became a hybrid monstrosity. Others believe he is an old hermit who retreated into the woods, only to be transformed by some dark magic or a curse. 
Regardless of its origins, the tail has become a fixture of local folklore. The goat man is described as a towering figure, with the body of a man and the head of a goat. His eyes are said to glow red in the night, and his cry, a mix between a human wail and an animal bleat, echoes through the darkness. He is most often spotted at night, lurking near the road or in the surrounding woods, sometimes wielding an axe, which he uses to protect his territory. Over the years, the legend has been embellished with tales of missing pets, strange noises, and even the disappearance of unwary travelers. Teenagers and thrill-seekers venture down Fletcher Town Road, hoping for a glimpse of the creature, their flashlights piercing the night as they call out to the goat man. The atmosphere of Fletcher Town Road lends itself to such stories. The canopy of trees creates a tunnel effect, making the road seem more isolated and the darkness more profound. The rustling of leaves and the snapping of twigs underfoot can easily be imagined as the stealthy movements of a creature watching from the shadows. Paranormal investigators and cryptozoologists have explored the area, drawn by the allure of the unknown. They come armed with cameras and recording equipment, hoping to capture evidence of the goat man's existence. While no definitive proof has been found, the search continues, fueled by the power of the legend and the possibility that something truly unexplained lurks in the woods. The legend of the goat man is more than just a spooky tale, it is a reflection of the human psyche and our fascination with the monstrous. It speaks to our fear of the other, the unknown, and the wild places where civilization gives way to nature. It is a cautionary tale, warning of the dangers that lie beyond the safety of our well-lit streets. For those who live near Fletcher Town Road, the goat man is a part of their history and culture. He is the subject of campfire stories and local lore, a mysterious presence that adds a layer of intrigue to the community. Whether one believes in the goat man or not, his story is a testament to the enduring nature of folklore and the way such tales can shape a place's identity. As we delve deeper into the legend of the goat man, we find that it is not just about fear, it is about curiosity and the human desire to explore the edges of our understanding. It is a reminder that there are still mysteries in the world, waiting to be discovered or, perhaps, to remain forever unexplained. In the end, the truth of the goat man may never be known. Is he a figment of collective imagination, a symbol of our primal fears, or is there a kernel of truth to the stories that have been told and retold over the years? The answer lies somewhere on Fletcher Town Road, in the space between reality and myth, where the goat man waits, an eternal enigma. Number 3. Dr. Samuel A. Mudd's House, Waldorf, Maryland. Our number 3 spot is Dr. Samuel A. Mudd's House. After treating John Wilkes Booth's broken leg, the house now echoes with whispers of conspiracy and betrayal. Do the spirits of Mud and Booth still wander these halls? In the quiet town of Waldorf, Maryland, the historic home of Dr. Samuel A. Mudd stands as a monument to one of the most infamous moments in American history. It was here, in the early hours of April 15, 1865, that John Wilkes Booth, the assassin of President Abraham Lincoln, sought refuge and medical attention for his broken leg. Dr. Mudd, unaware of the gravity of Booth's actions, set the leg and allowed him to rest before continuing his ill-fated flight. The house, a simple yet elegant example of 19th century architecture, has since become a museum, preserving the story of that fateful encounter and the life of Dr. Mudd, who was later convicted of conspiracy and imprisoned. Though pardoned four years later, the stain of the assassination left an indelible mark on his name and home. Visitors to the Dr. Samuel A. Mudd House Museum often report an eerie feeling as they explore the rooms and hallways where history was made. Some claim to hear the sound of Booth's desperate pleas or the clatter of horse hooves on the old dirt road. Others speak of seeing a shadowy figure limping through the house or gazing out of the windows, as if waiting for something, or someone. The most intense paranormal activity is said to occur in the very room where Booth's leg was treated. Objects move of their own accord, and the temperature drops without reason. Photographs taken within the house sometimes reveal orbs or misty figures that were not visible to the naked eye. These phenomena have led many to believe that the spirits of Booth and Dr. Mudd are forever intertwined with the home. Paranormal investigators have spent countless hours documenting the strange occurrences at the Mudd House. EVP sessions have captured unexplained voices, and thermal cameras have detected anomalies that suggest a presence beyond our understanding. Whether these are the echoes of the past or the manifestations of restless spirits remains a mystery. The legacy of Dr. Mudd is a complex one. To some, he is a villain, complicit in the assassination of a beloved president. To others, he is a victim of circumstance, a man whose life was ruined by a chance encounter. The house serves as a testament to this duality, a place where history and legend collide. The museum not only tells the story of the assassination but also offers a glimpse into the life of a 19th century physician. The artifacts and furnishings provide context to the era and the man who lived there. Educational programs and tours aim to separate fact from fiction, 
giving visitors a deeper understanding of the events that unfolded in the wake of Lincoln's death. As night falls on the mud house, the atmosphere shifts. The past seems to come alive, and the line between the living and the dead blurs. Some visitors leave with more questions than answers, their curiosity piqued by the whispers of history that linger in the air. For those who seek to connect with the past, the Dr. Samuel A. Mudd House Museum offers a unique opportunity. It is a place where one can stand in the footsteps of history, where the walls speak of tragedy and redemption. It is a reminder that the stories we tell about the past are never truly finished, and that some places hold onto their secrets, waiting for the right moment to reveal them. Number 2. Antietam Battlefield, Sharpsburg, Maryland The blood-soaked fields of Antietam Battlefield come in at number 2. The site of the bloodiest single-day battle in American history is said to be haunted by phantom soldiers, and visitors often report the smell of gunpowder lingering in the air. In the rolling hills of Sharpsburg, Maryland, the Antietam battlefield lies as a somber reminder of the Civil War's darkest hours. On September 17, 1862, the fields of Antietam Creek became the stage for the bloodiest single day in American military history, with over 23,000 soldiers killed, wounded, or missing after 12 hours of savage combat. The battle was a tactical draw, but it provided President Abraham Lincoln the opportunity to issue the Emancipation Proclamation, which forever changed the character of the conflict and the nation. The battlefield is now a national park, meticulously preserved to honor those who fought and fell on that fateful day. Visitors to Antietam today might find it hard to reconcile the tranquil beauty of the landscape with the violence that once consumed it. The park's peacefulness belies the intense energy that many believe lingers here. Reports of paranormal activity have been a constant for decades, with visitors and staff experiencing unexplained phenomena that suggest the restless spirits of soldiers are still present. The most common experiences include the sounds of phantom gunfire, drumming, and marching. Some have reported seeing ghostly figures in Civil War uniforms, appearing so real that they were mistaken for reenactors, until they vanished before startled eyes. The smell of gunpowder has inexplicably filled the air, and cries of unseen combatants have echoed, sending chills down the spines of those who hear them. One of the most haunted sites within the battlefield is the Bloody Lane, where intense fighting took place. Today, a sunken road marks the spot where Confederate soldiers held their line against Union assaults. Visitors have reported a heavy sense of sorrow and dread in this area, and some claim to have captured orbs and figures in their photographs that were not visible at the time. Another hotspot for supernatural encounters is the Burnside Bridge, named after Union General Ambrose Burnside, whose troops suffered heavy casualties while attempting to cross the creek. The bridge and its surroundings have been the site of numerous ghost sightings, including that of a soldier who is often seen gazing into the water before disappearing. The tales of Antietam's hauntings are not limited to visual and auditory experiences. Many people report sudden emotional shifts when they enter certain parts of the park, feeling overwhelming sadness, fear, or anxiety without explanation. These sensations are often attributed to the psychic imprint left by the intense emotions of the soldiers who fought and died here. Paranormal investigators have conducted numerous investigations at Antietam, employing a range of equipment from EMF meters to thermal cameras. While skeptics may dismiss the findings, the consistency of the reports over the years suggests that there is something extraordinary about this place. The legacy of Antietam extends beyond the paranormal. It is a place of profound historical significance, where the fate of the nation was contested with unimaginable ferocity. The National Park Service works to preserve not only the physical landscape but also the memory of the sacrifices made here. Educational programs, reenactments, and tours offer visitors a glimpse into the past, allowing them to reflect on the events that shaped the course of American history. As the sun sets over Antietam, casting long shadows across the fields, one cannot help but feel a connection to the past. The whispers of history are palpable, inviting us to remember and honor those who gave their lives in pursuit of their beliefs. Whether one is drawn to Antietam for its historical importance or its ghostly tales, the experience is sure to be profound and unforgettable. Number 1. Jericho Covered Bridge, Kingsville, Maryland And finally, at number 1, the Jericho Covered Bridge. This picturesque site holds a dark past, with rumors of spirits of the lynch that still haunt the area. At night, some say you can see ghostly figures hanging in the silence. Nestled in the serene landscape of Kingsville, Maryland, the Jericho Covered Bridge stands as a silent sentinel over the Little Gunpowder Falls. Its weathered wooden structure, a testament to 19th century craftsmanship, harbors a chilling history that transcends time and memory. This bridge, more than just a means of crossing, is a portal to a past marred by tragedy and sorrow. Constructed in 1865, the Jericho Covered Bridge served as a crucial link for farmers and merchants in the rural community. 
But beneath its utilitarian purpose lies a darker narrative, one that whispers of injustice and the echoes of anguished souls. Local lore tells of a time when the bridge was the site of unspeakable acts, lynchings that left an indelible stain on the picturesque landscape. As dusk falls and the shadows lengthen, the bridge transforms. The tranquil sounds of the surrounding woods give way to an eerie silence, punctuated only by the soft murmur of the creek below. Some visitors speak of an oppressive atmosphere, a weight upon their chests as they step within the bridge's confines. Others recount sightings of spectral figures swaying gently from the rafters, their ethereal forms illuminated by the moon's pale light. The tales are many, and the witnesses diverse, yet the stories share a common thread, a sense of profound sadness that permeates the very air. Paranormal investigators have long been drawn to the Jericho-covered bridge, seeking to uncover the truth behind the legends. Armed with cameras and EVP recorders, they probe the darkness, hoping to capture evidence of the supernatural. Their efforts often yield more questions than answers. Recordings of disembodied voices, inexplicable cold spots, and fleeting shadows suggest that something lingers here. Skeptics may dismiss these occurrences as mere tricks of the mind, but for those who have experienced the bridge's haunting presence, the reality is undeniable. The history of the Jericho-covered bridge is not solely defined by its ghostly reputation. It also stands as a symbol of resilience, a structure that has withstood the test of time, surviving floods, decay, and the march of progress. In 1982, the bridge underwent a significant restoration, ensuring its preservation for future generations. Today, it is listed on the National Register of Historic Places, recognized for both its architectural significance and its place in local folklore. Visitors to the bridge are encouraged to explore with respect and mindfulness. The stories of the past deserve to be honored, and the spirits, if they do indeed dwell here, should be met with empathy. Whether one comes in search of ghosts or simply to admire the bridge's rustic beauty, the experience is sure to leave a lasting impression. As we conclude our exploration of the Jericho-covered bridge, we are reminded of the power of history and the enduring nature of legend. In the heart of Maryland, this bridge serves as a reminder that some places hold more than just physical presence, they hold the stories of the ages, whispered on the wind and etched into the very wood and stone. As the veil of night descends upon us once more, we conclude our journey through the haunted heart of Maryland. We've traversed the spectral trails and stood within the shadows of history, where the echoes of the past speak to us with ghostly whispers. From the mournful cries at Antietam to the enigmatic presence of the Goat Man, each tale is a thread in the fabric of Maryland's eerie tapestry. These stories, rooted in tragedy and time, remind us that some mysteries are not meant to be solved, but to be experienced. So, dear viewers, as you lay your heads down tonight, remember the tales that have chilled your spine and stirred your soul. Let the shivers they've sent down your spine be a testament to the enduring power of legend and lore. Thank you for joining us on this spectral sojourn. Keep the spirit of curiosity alive, and wherever your adventures take you, remember to stay spooky.